This is the future. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So I heard a lot of rumblings about the new weapon in the game called the Grimoire. There are lots of people saying that the new weapon type is trash, that even the Stug is powerful than this weapon which you can obtain in the Whispers in the Walls update. It's kind of weird why players are comparing it to the Stug because we all know that even with the Riven mod it will take more things to make the secondary work against Steel Path levels. Compared to the Stug, the new Grimoire weapon is great and if you see Steel Path acolytes despawning in the mission then you know that the weapon is special. This weapon is acquired during the Whispers in the Walls quest at max rank with a free weapon slot and a pre-installed Orokin Catalyst. Additional copies can be built afterward, with the blueprint being sold by a new Cavia vendor named Bird 3 of 50,000 standings and requires Scholar rank to purchase. This unique secondary weapon casts bolts of electricity. While its alternate fire throws a large voltaic orb that slowly travels forward and electrocutes enemies in its path. To be honest with you, I was disappointed because I thought that Grimoire will be like the kick guns we have in Fortuna, wherein we can select different variants of this spell books. I was hoping that once we grinded enough standings, then we can get a new spell book from a certain Cavia vendor with a different element type, such as fire, ice, or even toxin. But I guess I was expecting for too much, and it gets even worse though as we got electricity, which is hard to manage as a good all-rounder damage type in the game. Honestly, if it was something like heat, then the Grimoire could be something else. However, when I finally got the weapon, I noticed something absolutely broken about the spell book that wasn't shown on on the showcase during Tenocon 2023 or even in the latest dev stream about Whispers in the Walls. The Grimoire has infinite ammunition and its normal fire is automatic, which means you can just press the fire button and let it rain magic electric bolts all over the place. Just like I have said, electric is hard to manage, but when we mod the Grimoire with lots of critical chance, add damage with either arcanes or mods, then pair it all with either corrosive or viral, then the spell book becomes insane. By the way, galvanized status chance doesn't work with both primary and alternate fire of the Grimoire so it's useless putting it in this weapon. Another fix that you can add is to strip the enemy defenses, and you all know how this ability is universally available right now in Warframe with the help of the helmet system. In fact, a pillage hero paired with Nautilus that can group enemies allows you to melt enemies in seconds with the primary fire of the Grimoire. While the AoE alternate fire is still trash, I don't mind it as the infinite spell cast of this new weapon type is insane. Another thing that makes this new weapon type special is the fact that it has exclusive mods called the Tomes. These Tom mods are available to earn via rotation C of the new mirror defense node on demos called Munio. Alternatively, the Essential Tomo bundle, which contains all Tom mods, is also available for purchase in the in-game market after you have completed the Whispers in the Walls quest. It costs only 140 platinum, so if you have lots of platinum from farming stuff in the game, then it would be wiser to get it in the market compared to doing a mirror defense. These new Tom mods allows the Grimoire to not just kill, but support your Warframe or even the whole team. There are two types of Tom mods, and these are the Canticle and Invocation. You can just equip one Canticle and one Invocation mod into your grimoire, and these mods applies various buffs that aids you and your team. The fast canticle allows you to gain 40% shield recharge rate and minus 28% shield recharge delay for 15 seconds after killing an enemy with the grimoire. This is great when it comes to survivability set up with shields, as you can maximize your survivability with the help of these buffs. We all know how busted shield right now in the game when it comes to damage reduction and invulnerability with shield gating, and these mods add more to that or replace a Warframe mod slot with the same effects so you can equip another important mod on its place. Then we have the Kray Canticle that gives you the buff for enemies to drop a universal orb on death by a 12% chance. This Tom mod is one of two Tome mods with no condition, and as long as you kill enemies, you get the chance to drop that universal orb. It doesn't say that you need to specifically kill enemies using the Grimoire, so I'm guessing that the universal orb drop chance also procs on other damage sources such as your weapons or even Warframe abilities as long as you have the Grimoire equipped. Um, however, I'm not sure about this though as there is another unconditional time mod in the name of Lock Hanicle that somehow debunked this theory. I was hoping that I could proc the fire rate bonus of this mod on outside sources such as Mace's regulator pistols, but the problem is it will only proc once you kill an enemy with the Grimoire. It's still great to use with Mesa as you get a fire rate bonus after killing an enemy with the spell book, but still, it would be so much better if it procs while the Grimoire is equipped and not used. So there's still a 50-50 chance that the Cray Canticle works the same. We also got the Jehu Canticle that reduces the shield and armor of other enemies by 5% within affinity range after killing your target. At first glance, the Tom mod 
not as good when you pair it with other defense decreasing method, but this gets overshadowed by the fact that we have other defense stripping sources that does well compared to just stripping 5% values. In my opinion, this is the most skippable toe mod among all the available in the game right now. While the Canical Tom mods gave me doubts, I'm very happy with the Invocation Tom mods as it provides insane buff while using the alternate fire of the Grimoire. By the way, the alternate fire of the Grimoire slowly recharge in time, but you can speed up to charging process by hitting enemies so you can use the alternate fire quickly. The condition to proc these invocation tom mods is to hit enemies with the Grimoire's alternate fire, and it will provide buffs such as 60% power strength bonus for 20 seconds if you the alternate fire registered 15 hits. There's also a buff that grants you 60% more duration if the Grimoire also registered 15 hits recently. Um, then it also got the invocation that gives you 60% bonus energy efficiency. And lastly, there's an invocation that grants you 10 energy regeneration per seconds for 20 seconds if you have registered 10 hits with your Grimoire's alternate fire. This is massive when paired with the Xenuric Focus or even the Nourish Helminth ability to fix your energy problem without relying on the Equilibrium and Companion setup or even the ever popular Arcane Energize. The Grimoire is actually a great weapon that you must have right now. It's a good combination of power and support and the unlimited ammunitions makes it more fun to use. It gets better when you have defense strip which melts enemies in seconds while using the grimoire. While some will say that relying on armor and shield strip is not an actual build but it's a mechanic in the game that you can have fun playing with so why not use it and just enjoy. So that's all about it for this new weapon type you can earn in the whispers in the walls update. I hope that you find this video informative. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next guide. Squad leader signing off. This is the future. Thank you.